was pretty weird. You know, I don't know who sent that lawyer to meet with me, but for some strange reason, she wanted to speak with me based on some research that they're doing at the University of Irvine, California. And I happen to be one of the subject that they chose to interview for this project, which is a pretty interesting project to find out about the way how deportees are affected by deportation and what laws they feel we need to put in place. And if I had a meeting with Trump, you know, what advice would I give him in regards to the laws that they would change to assist deportees? Um, to be honest with you, I, uh, I don't think much of that. You know, my life has moved on. So I've moved on with my life since deportation. You know, I've uh, embraced it well, actually. My life is so much better now than it was when I was living in the States. So, I don't really... tragic thing for most people to deal with. However, uh, once you're willing to embrace and accept your life for what it is and your situation and circumstances and rise above all your challenges, nothing will ever get in your way, you know. And I think it's very important that everyone understand that there's no challenge that's too big for you to handle, you know. Uh, you can always learn to cope with inadequacies and always rise up above your challenges. So, you have no excuses, actually, you know, um, to do bad or to feel bad. You know, you can't just live your life feeling bad about anything. You gotta know how to just move on, let go and grow, you know. So last night, that lawyer to contact me and to want to meet with me was very interesting. Well, this is what it was like and this is what the meeting is. Let me share this with you guys. Go ahead and let you guys uh, see what we talked about and you guys just tell me, you know, leave a comment and let me know what you think, you know. Do you think I told her too much? Do you think I didn't, uh, I should have opened up a little bit more? I should have not even allowed them to interview me. Let me know what you guys think, all right? Check it out. Once I got deported, I realized that life would no longer be the same it would never be the life as I knew it. I had to accept that I would now have to change my way of thinking, my way of being, my way of living. And the life I used to live would be no more. That in itself, is a challenge that most people cannot even imagine or put themselves be willing to put themselves through. I would now step up my game by 10, 10 times. I had some music back in Belize from traveling. I when I came back, I had some music that I had left at a relative's house. And um, I would hit the streets with those music, with those CDs. I had some CDs. And uh, I would hit the street with those CDs with a certain passion and an attitude that was unstoppable. 
I had already recorded an album called Life After Deportation before getting deported. So I just re-released that CD and hit the streets with it. After selling what I had and burning small amounts of copies and reselling them, reinvesting that way, I built up to where I could press up 10,000 copies of that on an official CD where one side was a CD, the other side was a DVD. And I'm the first artist to ever did that. And I pressed up 10,000 copies of that and ran through the streets with it with a certain passion. There was no denying me. There was no denying success. I sold 10,000 copies of it. Se presentan y ustedes, el artista con más ventas de discos en la historia musical de Belice. It allowed me to reinvest in another project, which I called The Evolution. And that also came with a CD and a DVD. And then I did Celebration Time. And after Celebration Time, I did Destination Belize and Change the Game. And then I did uh, The Dilly U. The Dilly U Reloaded, The Museum of Culture Presents I Am Burn. I did the Mixed Feeling CD. I was a part of the Seven Adventures of Sinbad movie project. Dragon Wars, Jurassic Attack, Poseidon Rex. Broken Dreams. Into the Unknown. <laughs> it's projects after projects after projects. You know? I just feel like if you want something in life, you have to go after it. You can't allow anything to stop you. You can't allow anything to get in the way. You know, you cannot allow your fears to take over. You cannot allow the fear of rejection. You know, the fear of disappointment, the fear of failure, the fear of people judging you to get in the way. As a deportee, I learned to overcome these fears. I learned to overcome my challenges and turn them into opportunities. So, after all the struggles, all the challenges that I've been through, I'm forever grateful for all those challenges because it has made me into who I am today. And today, I see me being my best self, living my best life, enjoying life on its terms, Finding my place at one spiritually, emotionally, physically, mentally, and to me, that's wealth. And there's no amount of wealth financially that could replace that or that I would trade that for. I still continue to embrace challenges and I continue to dream. I have big dreams. The dreams I have require big success. I want to do great things. I want to help many people. I want to make a big change. There's a lot of things about Belize that I don't like that I would like to change or I'd like to at least help to be a part of the change. So. I'm embracing challenges, turning them into opportunities, and using them to create other opportunities for other people in my community, in my family, in society, in my country. And then hopefully I can spread it out to other countries and into the world. Life is real. Life is real, and I'm grateful that I can say my dreams are now my reality.
you guys see what last night was all about, go ahead and leave a comment and let me know if you think that I should have opened up a little bit more with her. Do you think that uh, I gave her too much information? Do you think I should have even allowed them to interview me? Should I have just gave them the fingers up and be like, you know what, I don't want to talk to none of you guys. I don't want to have nothing to do with you. I've moved on since my deportation. Let me know what you guys think, all right? Go ahead and leave a comment. Uh, if you feel in this video, you know anybody that could learn anything from my life after deportation, go ahead and share this video. If not, just have a beautiful day. Make sure you tune in tomorrow so I can tell you guys about what happened tonight. Always something going on. Nice. Thanks for watching this video. Enough respect, enough love. I'm out of here.